Cheryl here or Terracotta. Today I'm going to be showing you how to paint those last minute Easter cards. Or perhaps you would like to have a name card on your Easter table, a name card for each of the person sitting there. So these cards with the little egg shape and the bunny on it could have a name under each one and there you have a decorative table setting. Anyway guys, I'm going to be showing you how to paint this. If you want the full tutorial, you can go up to my Patreon. Otherwise, stick around and I will give you the step-by-step -step how to do this so you can be creative for your Easter table or to mail an Easter card. Okay, so let's talk materials. I think you need some cardstock. The cardstock I'm using is six by seven and a half inch or 15 centimeter by 19. I'm using a variety of brushes, but the one brush I highly recommend is a filbert. And with that filbert, it's the rounded edges. I could get all of the rounded curves and edges of that bunny, even the curves of the ear, very, very easily. I'm also using three colors that I can put a lot of white with so that I can make pastels. And I think pastel is just the way to go for an Easter painting, and so that's what I'm doing. If you're wanting the colors that I'm using, you can look in the description below. But you can use any colors that you like. Okay, so let's talk about the painting process. I'm beginning by just painting the backgrounds of each of the Easter eggs, and each of the Easter eggs is going to be a different color. After I paint each one, then I can start adding in the design that I would like. And I don't necessarily have to wait for that first background to dry because it can be a little bit wet in wet with this particular layer. And I'm just aiming for each egg to have its own unique design. And so for the yellow, I'm thinking some foliage because Foliage is green and green and yellow are very complimentary and that's such a spring theme. And then for the pink, I was thinking some polka dots and stripes. And to vary that up a little bit, when I go to the blue, I will still have some polka dots, but I will do some zigzags. And during this painting process, I do want to make a little statement. Guys, I just moved to the States a couple of weeks ago, and this is the first time I'm painting in the States. This is my new desk setup, so I would love if you would just comment and let me know what you think about this, but I love it. I love the color. I love the lighting, especially. I love so many things. Anyway, I would love to have your input on that. Okay, so enjoy the painting process. I'll be back with you in a minute. back our eggs have been completely decorated very simple designs and they're completely dry and we are ready for the next layer and this layer is going to be to add some bold color and I'm going to use a sharpie marker a black one so I'm gonna take my sharpie and I'm gonna outline each of those leaves on the foliage or the polka dots or along some of the lines or the zigzags just to create some dark contrast so that when we put our white Easter Bunny on top, we will have some dark contrast below. And now you see that I have already outlined all of my Easter eggs and all of the details. So now I'm going to be transferring my Easter Bunnies to each of these eggs. And I'm looking around, I have three Easter Bunnies, and I'm trying to figure out which Easter Bunny will look best on how uh, ornate or not so ornate the backgrounds are. So I'm going to put three Easter bunnies on those cards and then I'm going to paint them. 
which voila, I have already done. So now I'm just going to add some final touches, some whiskers on the pink bunny, or the bunny with the pink background at least. And then for the final step for creating these cute little bunnies, and that is to once again let everything completely dry, and then take that Sharpie marker and go around each of those bunnies, just to make them pop against all of that hmm, very ornate sometimes background. And guys, once you've finished outlining those Easter bunnies, you know you've completed three really adorable Easter cards or some table setting cards that you can just write somebody's name on and put on your Easter table. So guys, I hope you thoroughly enjoyed painting this. It was so much fun for me. And just remember, if you do want the full tutorial, it's up in the Patreon. And guys, until we meet again, have a wonderful day and Happy Easter.